Welcome everybody to this evening's entertainment. I'm sure you're having a great time. I certainly am. For those of you who didn't recognise me under this cunning disguise, it is me, Tim Harvey, former touring car champion and now reduced to just talking about it on the television, but that's my pleasure. Let me get the two stars of the show up, the two cannonballers. You've seen them already tonight, JJ McClure and Captain Chaos. But we know them better as the Honda Racing Team drivers, Matt Neal and Gordon Shedden. <laughs> you never driven in, uh, driven in, uh, in Germany on the uh, unrestricted auto bars? Uh, yes, probably. It's strange, really, because a friend of mine told me that you held the, the record for getting from Dudley to Donington in about 15 minutes. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> nervous laughter, if ever I heard it. I may have admitted it, even if I did. Uh, okay, fair enough. Matt, um, Gordon, there aren't any speed limits in Scotland, are there? No, no, there's no running water out, just the air. No, I know, but whenever I cross that sort of welcome to Scotland sign when I'm driving up north, I just assume there are no speed limits. Uh, that is right, isn't it? Yeah, uh, of course, as soon as you get into Scotland, you go as fast as you like, Tim. Is, is it true, though, that when you get stopped, they say to, they used to say to you, the police, they used to say, who do you think you are, John Cleland? But now they say, who do you think you are, Gordon Shit? Is that right? Uh, no, but <laughs> <laughs> that, that would make your day, wouldn't I, it? I have, I have talked with a, a couple of things, but... Oh, so tell us about that then. Well, tell us about when you've talked your way out of a, an incident on the road, because that's what cannonballers do, isn't it? They get themselves into trouble and then they talk their way out of it. He told them he was Tim Harvey. Well, that would, that would get you locked up yeah. straight away. Well, as soon as I said that and said, oh, our speedo must be wrong, because he was never going that fast. Yeah. <laughs> so, Matt, what is the British Touring Car Championship? I've almost been in it as long as you were in it. <laughs> Actually, I think you've beaten my record now. In fact, in fact, was I alive when you started racing in it? Thank you. Your dad used to watch me <laughs> racing, Gordon. I'll come to you in a minute. Was that in black and white? I'll come to you in a minute. It's a championship designed for uh, everyday cars we see on the street, and um, that's where the rivalry begins. You know, it's, it's the Hondas, be the Chevrolets, be the Renaults, be the Nissans, and it's designed to be entertaining. So if one, one team's a bit too quick, like we've been today, they start pulling them back with adding weight into the car, slowing them down. So it's all about the show, it's all about the spectacle, it's about reversing the grids and shaking up, pulling the quick guys back and, and making a big race of it and getting some ribbons racing, as they say. But it's incredible in these economic times, you know, it's still a massively popular thing, isn't it? Why do you think touring cars is so popular? I mean, not being funny, is it the crashing, is it, what is it? No, it's obviously the drivers, isn't it? No, it's the, yeah, I can see that you would have massive appeal to the general public. Uh, and, and massive crashability as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, I think it's the accessibility which the likes of Formula One haven't got. Yeah. You know, the general public can come and get up close to the drivers, the cars, the families, the children and everything. And it's week in, week out. It goes all around the country to all the different areas of the country from Brands Hatch right up to north of uh, Dunfermline in Scotland. So it's... Um, you know, everybody can do it and they can see it live on TV every week as well, so they can, it's easy to follow. And, and of course the car you race is just like the car people drive on the road, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> kind of, it's got, it's got a similar badge, but it's, it's the rivalry between, you know, you, know, you, you get booed by, uh, by the ultimate rival. Right, you, know, you get rivals. booed? I get booed. You get booed. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought, thought, you, I thought, were, I thought right. you were the people's favourite. Oh, that's Paul O'Neill, isn't yeah. it? Um, I get booed a lot. But yeah, who boos you? All Jason's fans. Je oh, does he still have any? Uh, some Chevy fans are being quite um, blue, blue with their, their, oh, their, their, their uh, support of me at Brands. What's that, just people with big noses? Or? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Gordon, you're just a relative pup to uh, in touring car terms compared to Matt. Um, why, was it always an ambition of yours to race in the British Touring Car Championship? Yeah, I mean, you, you know, for me, I was just leaving primary school when Matt started racing the BTCC, so <laughs> it, it was something, obviously, to kind of look up to uh, and, and see the rivalry, you know, obviously, when you were racing, when Cleland was racing, there were some mega races, mega battles, mm. mega accidents mm. caused by you. Some of them, well, one of not killed with Mr. Tarquini, but we won't talk um, about that. But it, it always provided some fantastic racing, and the crowd just really get into it, you know, be, because the cars that we were driving, look similar to what you have in your driveway, yeah. 
the, the support is absolutely awesome. And, and for me, it was always about two in cars. It was never about F1. Yeah. And you know, luckily for me, I've, I've managed to kind of make it through. And, okay. Know. Just, just tell people seriously, how does your Honda Civic compare? I mean, to a road Honda Civic Type R. Um, I, mean, I mean, there are quite a lot of similarities. That the actual shell itself is exactly the same, 100 percent the same. Um, we then obviously take the the road car, which is a fantastic product, and make that you know proper kind of race you know thorough, thoroughbred. With the with the new regs, every part of the car, from the chassis to the engine, everything has to start off from the standard component. Okay. So, so with the with the engine, because Honda make great engines, and the and the petrol engine is so good, that's why we can they can make a great race engine out of it. And the chassis, it's the best handling chassis out there, which you know it's pro proven today what it's like. Yeah. You're obviously very pleased with today. Both of you done a fantastic job. I mean, you know that you were hitting the shoulders above everybody else. So what what got it all together today? Well, I'm a little bit more pleased than him because I ended up about a hundredth of a second quicker than him. It's just because your head and shoulders are a bit bigger than mine. Though. And then one of my mechanics fixed his car, so he's broke, and he couldn't he couldn't beat me back. So in return for that, he's going to let you win the first race, is he? Obviously. Obviously, yeah. And then you let him win the second race. Obviously. Obviously. He's not answering that one. <laughs> Um, seriously, I mean that man Plato, he's the reigning champion, he is your nemesis, he is the one that uh, commands a lot of the TV exposure and uh, certainly gets, uh, gets hold of the microphone and says his piece. What, what is his chances at the moment? I mean he's leaving the championship but he's qualified 1.2 seconds behind you guys. Zero. Zero, that's what we like to hear. Yeah. No, he's now beaten Andy Rouse's record and won, went by winning two races at Brands and we, we feel that that's, that's all the races he should win this year so that's we're going to be... And, and of course he has two championships to his name, you have two championships to your name, first one to three wins, yeah? I've told him it's, it's my turn next or, and but Flash has got something to say about that as well. Well, I mean, it was interesting, everybody, all the drivers in the British Touring Car Championship were asked independently um, to say who they thought was most likely to win the championship, and Gordon was the driver's pick. So Gordon, no pressure. I know, it cost me a fortune, that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but they only asked three, <laughs> and I said him, as long as you said me, and he didn't do it back, he yeah. to prove himself. Gordon, do you feel under pressure this year? No, I think, if anything, it just means you, know, you want to go and deliver, you want, you want to go and do the best job possible, and you know, both of us got to the last round last year with a chance of winning the championship, we, we won the manufacturer's championship for Honda, the team's championship. Constructors Championship. Uh, the only thing we missed out on was the was the drivers championship. We came second and third, so we want a clean sweep this year. And you know, so far so good. The car, the car looks strong. Well, you certainly kept a, a really cool head at the first meeting at Brands when uh, practice ended up in the gravel. And I mean, you came through brilliantly in the races. And, and people forget this is a 30 race championship. It's a long championship, isn't it? For me personally, my championship. It looked like it, was, uh, it wasn't even going to start at Brands Hatch, we had a, you know, a massive accident on the Saturday, just over 120 miles an hour impact with the wall, just over 10 G. And it's steady on, it's starting to sound like Nigel Manson now. The car was a bit of a mess, but it was safe and we got it fixed and I was fine and, and we came back out the day after and, and did a good job, you know. Well, the Honda racing team did a brilliant job because the car looked immaculate and it obviously worked perfectly. Have they, have they done any work on it since the Brands? I mean, has it had to be uh, rejigged or anything? Yeah, quite a, Matt's nodding, he's paying the bills. <laughs> yeah, you know, the... It, it, was, it was a job to get that car out of the toilet Brands Hatch two weeks ago, but it, yeah. it's, you know, it, it's had a full rebuild since then. And, uh, you, you know, touch wood so far, it's, uh, it's absolutely perfect. So yeah. hopefully that continues tomorrow and for the rest of the year. What are the, what are the likely problems you face sort of here at Donington this weekend? Well, I think what, one of the main problems we've got is, is the, the power of, the, of our Honda engine is so good, so severe. <clears throat> we can literally burst the tyres within 10 laps. The race is 16 laps and we can literally burst them within 10 laps. We can right. fry the brakes within two laps as long as... So we've right. got to do a little bit of driving with our head yeah. as well as, uh, as driving with our right foot. And um, you know, we've got to try and control the race. If, if we're lucky enough to be at the front, then uh, you know, it's going to be a real factor of, of, of trying to nurse the car all the way through. But you were telling me, Matt, at Brands, it's very difficult to get the car cleanly off the line, and you were actually starting from a standstill in second gear. That seems crazy to us, so just explain why that is. It's because of the, you, you know, we've got a, um, um, 
the, as I say, the torque and the power is so severe, the way it comes in, we start with, in second gear with about a third throttle and then, then shift early to third. So we're actually getting, on just in general driving around, wheel spin in fourth gear. It's nothing to do with you having your knees around your, your ears when you're driving, is it? <laughs> <laughs> If anyone's ever seen Matt in a race car, he is literally with his knee. But you're used to it, you've always driven like that. Tim, I don't wear my cowboy boots. Oh, okay, well, that's a, maybe that would help. Maybe. But hopes for this year, obviously, I mean, is it an individual success or is it the team's championship manufacturer's titles that are more important? We, we've just got to get a Honda across the line first. That's the, that's the prime priority. And if we can do that, then there's every chance that both, you know, both me and MLB and with the shout of the driver's championship at the end as well. And, the prime priority is, is for Honda, and if one of us takes the driver's crown, then, then can it all get, you know? The driver's crown, a lot of it comes down to luck. You know, whether the, the dice, because the racing is so physical and there's so much involved with the reverse grid, there's so many outside factors, you do well, they put weight in you, slow you down. You know, as Flash said, the first goal is Honda. Honda first, Honda for the manufacturers, Honda for the teams. And then if we're doing that job and we do that job well, then we're going to be in the shout. And one of us, and if we're lucky enough, two of us will be in the shout at the end of the year, and then, then, then it's me. So listen guys, I would love to be out there with you, but the next best thing is watching you guys race, because it is fantastic racing. I'm always on the edge of my seat um, watching. I really hope you have a great weekend tomorrow. I think there's going to be a lot of people coming. Who's going to the races tomorrow? Good show of hands, good show of hands. Uh, now, has anybody got any questions? Now, there must be some questions you're dying to ask, because if you are, our sheriff will bring the microphone round and you can ask a question of the boys, because this is your chance to do it. Put your hands up if you've got a question. One over here. Okay, the question was, who's your favourite driver outside of Paul O'Neill? Uh, well, you can't say Flash either, because that's preferred. Yeah. Oh, um, Who's your bestest friend? Jason No, it's not Jason <laughs> <laughs> It is not Jason. <laughs> 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 um, no, it's not Rob Collard. Who's your favourite driver outside of Paul O'Neill? Um, I've got a fairly comprehensive list of who I don't get on. Yeah, he hasn't got any friends on the grid. Chilton's alright, I like Chilton, he's okay. You know it? Yeah. You do like him at all. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 You're just jealous because his dad is richer than yours. <laughs> his dad's richer than everyone. His dad is richer than yeah, he is richer. Uh, who's your best friend? Actually, everybody likes Gordon. I don't, everybody does like Gordon apart from Tom Gordon. They don't know him. <laughs> I'm just floating under the radar. Like is that what it is? Yeah. yeah, okay. Good question. Do you really hate Jason? Yay. Yes. <laughs> if he does, he doesn't like him. <laughs> Well, years ago, we got, we, you know, we, we got on a bit better last year, and, and people used to come to me before that, and they used to say, um, "Do you really? Do you actually get on uh, off the camera?" And it's all, all for the thing. And um, I used to say, "Well, the question you need to ask yourself is it an act that we do get on on the camera?" And uh, we've had our moments. So, um, we'll, we'll yes, really he hates it. <laughs> yeah, he really hates. <laughs> Good question. I just wondered what your favourite racing car film was. Ah, oh, favourite racing car film. Go on, Flash. Braveheart. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have to be into that? <laughs> um, I don't know, I mean, I suppose when I was growing up it was Days of Thunder, wasn't it? That was the... That, that was the racing car film at the time. Mine is Talladega, Talladega Nights. That's yeah, really it's, not, it's not cars. That's it's cars a car's a racing car film. <laughs> not really, is it? Yeah. Lightning McQueen and all that. Because I still watch that. You look like you're starred in that. <laughs> <laughs> I do look like it, don't I? <laughs> My favourite film was always Le Mans, with old Steve McQueen in it. That's your era, isn't it? Uh, it is my era, yeah. I love that. Yeah, black um, and white movie. I was actually privileged enough to go and see a premiere of the, uh, the Senna film uh, last week. And I would have to say, anybody that's a racing fan, you must see the Senna film when it comes out later this year. It's going to be an absolutely brilliant thing. But, one more question. Yep. <laughs> There's a theme running here, isn't there? I don't hate Jason a, a, a lot. <laughs> no, I just, um, if you're nice to me, I'll be nice back to you. And if you're, if you're, if you're, um, if you're uh, funny with me, I'm gonna, I'll be funny back. So, um, it's probably enough said there. <laughs> yeah. 
Listen, I'm going to hand you back to the sheriff, who is going to uh, carry on with proceedings, but uh, I'm sure we'd all like to wish the boys every success for tomorrow.